welcome back to the Russia Show. In this episode, Ember Moon has been injured, and an idea that Batista has floated with the WWE that seems to be gaining no traction with anybody over there at the WWE. First off, Ember Moon has been injured. She um, hurt her shoulder in that episode of NXT last week in that Fatal 4-Way match where she apparently was tossed out of the ring. Uh, apparently... She'll be out for an indeterminate amount of time. We're not exactly sure for how long, but she'll be gone for a while. She'll be gone long enough to miss the NXT TakeOver Chicago event, which is kind of sucks because that's going to, you know, screw up that Fatal 4-Way match that they had planned. It looked really entertaining. It looked like it had been a lot of fun. I was actually looking forward to a match at NXT for the first time in a good long time. And, well, now that apparently will not happen. Uh, that said, I wish her well. Hope she heals quick and hope she's back in the ring in the really near future. Now, on to my next little bit of information. It'll be a short video that, uh, for today's, just a quick little Wednesday upload. I'm working on something for Thursday. And hopefully, I'll have something for you on Friday. I'm not guaranteeing that, but I'll try. Secondly, and lastly, uh, on this particular video, apparently Batista has floated an idea uh, for his retirement in you know his wrestling retirement um, but the WWE apparently has no traction he says he's talked to Triple H he's talked to Vince he's talked to other people and he's just getting no traction with it apparently for his retirement he wanted to have one last you know one last program a run where he fought Triple H and had some kind of play out there and at the end of it was his retirement but apparently the WWE has no interest in. He's like he's talked to him a few different times about it, and each time Vince is like, "Yeah, we'll think about it. Don't worry, you know, we'll, we'll you know, basically don't call us, we'll call you kind of thing." Which is interesting, considering you know Vince was very um, big in talking about Batista's you know 15th anniversary of coming to you know the WWE in the first place. Just the other day, I find that kind of interesting that they wouldn't that they wouldn't want to work something with him for him to have one last run in the WWE. He says the only thing he's interested in, though, is working with Triple H. It does limit it, but you would figure they would figure out something for Batista. He was such a big part of the, sh you know, the show for such a long time and everything, and you'd figure if he wants to come back and that's what he wants to do, you would find a way to make it work. But I guess between the Seth Rollins mess and everything like that, they just don't want to do it. You ask me, it doesn't make a lot of sense because I think, I think it'd be a good, a good thing, you know, a good story, a good, a good run for Batista, especially to ride off into the sunset and retire from the WWE for good. But that's not what they want to do, and I guess that's not what they're gonna do. That said, I hope they finally, you know, pull their heads out of their asses and finally get it done and finally get him back on the show and let him have that one last run, whether it's a, you know, short-lived, say, you know you know, a short-lived thing from, like, the Royal Rumble to WrestleMania or something, you know, next year. I think that'd be great. I think it'd be awesome. I think the fans would love it. But you never know with the WWE. You can never say never, but you can never bet on anything they're going to do either. So you have a great day. Um, I'll try to have something out for you tomorrow as well, on Thursday, for the normal upload. And then again, I'll have you something for Friday if I can. All right, y'all have a great day.